But anyway, that's the end of the level, folks. Yep. 18 minutes. Kill only five enemies. Level enemies in this level. Wreck at the Berea Dark next. Level 8. So back into the water again. And Harpoon rounds. Oh, great. Back away. That breathing is so creepy. What do you think of that? <sighs> what, do you, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's like friggin' Darth, v Darth Vader's coming at you through the water. Yeah, you can lose a chunk of health here, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. Oh yeah, don't screw this You up. have to make sure you have loads of health here. Because there's nothing you can do here. You'll just fall and collapse at the bottom. Imagine if you had, like, no health kits left and did that part. It'd just be fucking impossible. Well, if you had low health, you'd have to take out this enemy really quickly and not get shot by that guy. Oh no, I was talking about the falling down. Yeah. Like, if you were that low on health and no med kits, you'd be fucked. Yeah, you would be. Though, thankfully, it's... You don't have, you only have to deal with that harpoon guy. Uh-huh. And it's not that far from the start of the level. Yeah, so as soon as you kill him, you get a small med pack, and you're like, yeah, I can restore my health. Uh-huh. Hold on, what this guy? It actually gives you too many packs. It gives you two small ones. Which is more helpful. Secret area up here. This I didn't know about when I was a kid. The secret up here? No, you're not. It's just jumping on the ceiling. I like the way Lara's doing that. She's a happy bunny. A happy <laughs> bunny. A happy, happy bunny. And now she's not, because she's going to kill the guy with a shotgun. This game has great graphics. Just jumping up and down. This game has great graphics. Now who gets anything else? That's great graphics. After doing some research, I discovered that there were more Tomb Raider games than just number two. Wow, what a shit shocker. <laughs> Funny faces. I have to probably do my own parody of this. Why is she British? I, th I thought she was supposed to be American. I don't want to play a British person, I want to play American. Fuck British people. All they do is drink tea and act like lazy gits. Drinks tea himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop watching me drinking tea. Fuck you, you're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, that is a parody. Yeah, I could probably do my own parodies on good games and actually make them look better than they're not. <laughs> yeah, go, go try that on your channel. Yeah, I actually did one parody of DSP, taking the mick out of not how to get past the menu. Not knowing how to get past, how to start a new game. I can't, I keep tapping X on Milk Saw 2 and nothing's happening. <laughs> Fuck you, MGS. Fuck you, Kojima. <laughs> Kojima World Order. Uh, for some reason he has a hate boner for Kojima, but okay. A hate boner from. Mm. That's what the internet's like though these days. Lots of hate. <laughs> well, I mean, FGS5 was a bit of a shit show, so. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna push blocks so we can get through this. We got, we got to push three of them, yeah. <laughs> no, thankfully, you just got pushed two of them. So what I do is I usually pull this one out. I don't know. Or, or jump into the ceiling and act like a doofus. Yeah. Um. Then again, I personally take two more three over two more underworld. Take Angel of Darkness over on the world. At least Angel of Darkness' story was interesting. Yeah, it had, it had an interesting concept. It was just the game was rushed. Whereas Underworld was like not rushed. It was just coming out at a normal time. And yeah, it was still a fucking piece of shit. Actually, if you played the game uh, Angel of Darkness when you move around, it was meant to use the analog stick, but they uh, implemented the old school controls, made them worse because it was rushed. So, whereas the game was meant to be like you can fully control Lara and move her around and that. Yeah. So it was like a modern game at the time, so... <laughs> and also, if you watch the E3 get demo of it, Lara moves a lot quicker than what she does in the game. Because she looks like she's running in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, in the normal game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whereas in, like, um... The beta version, you see she runs a lot quicker in that. She runs, like, at a normal pace. Yeah. 
And there's even like multiple areas and scenes that were taken out as well. Plus the whole I'm getting stronger now thing was like supposed to represent the uh, artifact that she used by uh, Bowtie. Yeah, because Bowtie gives her this artifact to get her strength back after she lost all of it in Last Revelation. Yeah, because she was supposed to have died in Last Revelation. That's the reason why she comes back uh, all weak and shit. Yeah, because of um, Bowtie giving her this artifact and tells her to remember this artifact and what you remember from the past can be used for your future. And basically what it means is that she starts to remember how to do things like she did in the previous games. So that's why she... Uh, but that seems deleted and not put in the game, so... That's why the whole I get stronger now thing was so bullshit. Came into play, yeah. It, it, that's what it said on the Tomb Raider wiki, yeah. When I read through it, because I was wondering what that scene was all about, and then I looked it up. So that's what I mean, the game was, it's, yeah, it basically like that's kind of fucked up, like, getting into much to it now. It had, it had a really good soundtrack and interesting ideas, but like I said, the gameplay fell flat so hard. Plus, I'm sure the male protagonist that they gave us, like... Curtis, yeah. Curtis, yeah. But he would, probably would have been a better character if, like, you know, they actually fleshed the story out better. Yeah, I will admit, Curtis was a pretty cool character, I thought. Curtis was good a good character, but his gameplay was even worse than Lara's. Oh, shit. But that was the last time we ever get to see the old Lara as well. Yeah, because from two Raider Legends under. Oh, excuse me. From two Raider Legends. How is he running through that wall? That makes no Actually, sense. Yeah, how did he get through that? He, they, these guys must be ghosts or something. Anyway, you were saying. I, uh -huh. Actually, that would make sense if they were ghosts. I meant, you're in another wall cave. Maybe these people were dead after all. Oh my god, yes, that's creepy. Anyway, you were saying something. But yeah, like, from two Raider Legend to Underworlds, like, Lara's character completely changed. Now she's, like, some other. Tempered schoolgirl. Yeah, some friends told me she's like Barbie in the newer games. <laughs> like the way that, like the way that she yells at the villain in Legend, and then like shoots the ground. Amanda, in front of her. yeah, yeah, Amanda. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot that she was so boring a character <laughs> that I couldn't remember her I can't, name. I can't even remember the story as well as I did with the earlier games, admittedly. But yeah, she's like shoots the ground in front of Amanda, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? This is not the Lara that I know would have done that. Nah. I have to admit, I think Clara from the old games, well, I think I liked the Tomb Raider 4 as one of the best stories in the series. Tomb Raider 2 had a pretty good story. Tomb Raider 1 definitely had a great story. Tomb Raider 3 had a not-so-good story. Tomb Raider 5's stories weren't too bad, actually. They, they're all right, actually. Um, Tomb Raider 6 uh -huh. had a good story, but again, the gameplay fell flat. So, yeah. I do think the old games had the better storylines as well. Like, especially the way they did... um. Like some of the mysteries behind the levels and the way they were created. There was a sense of mystery to them. Well, there wasn't really much mystery in like the later games. Nah, it was all... Didn't, it, it just lacked that mystery feel to them. Although I will admit Tomb Raider 13 and Rise of Tomb Raider are great games there, mainly. And I did like um, Shadow's gameplay, but the story in that wasn't the best. Though I do like Anniversary in the way they expanded the first game's story more in a way. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, got something. Though, personally, I think The Last Revelation is my favourite in terms of the story. Mm-hmm. What was that thing we grabbed? Oh, that was the, um... S that was the, uh... Circuit Breaker. Ah, okay. Which we're gonna need. So let's go back. Actually, there's another secret down there. And there's loads of spikes that we have to avoid as well. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to use a flare here, actually. Yeah, so walk through here. Going to need to save here because there's probably a bullshit part. Nah, just, just in case I end up hitting the spikes. In case I accidentally <laughs> jump and hit the spikes. You know what would be really sadistic if, like, mm -hmm. the Jade Dragon was down there? Yeah. Actually, what's down at the bottom? More spikes. Lovely. Shouldn't be doing that, because normally if you've got a flare that's about to run out, she chucks it, and when she's about to grab the ledge, she'll hit the side, and she'll die. So you got really lucky there. I actually did this incredible thing once, where I jumped in the air, threw the flare, and was still able to grab the ledge. It felt so great when I pulled it off. Fucking hell. Yeah, it felt great when I did it. Here 
anything. Like Actually, that. you can throw them away at your own time. You that, can, that's good. So you, once you use it, you can throw it whenever you want. And even if you drop it by accident, you can pick it up again. So you can bend down and pick it up. <laughs> Instead of just pulling out another one. Yeah. If you yeah, if you throw it by mistake. Right, so now we got the circuit breaker, now we can put it in. But not into that one, we gotta put it over here. Yep. Actually this music that's playing in the background now is actually in Tomb Raider 1, so. Oh, so nice nice little continuity nod. Yeah, that dun 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 music, that's from the first game as well. I like that, so it uses some of the tracks from the first game. There's the lever. Actually, this is the best time to remain a game as well. So. Well, we know that. It's like playing through it. Yeah. You know, it's the best one ever. Yeah. A lot of people say it's one of the best ones. Oh, look, more guys were waiting for us. Yeah, and we can kill them with the Uzis. I was going to say M16. <laughs> actually, hold on. Yeah, I'll quickly use the M16, actually. As well. Let's show you what that weapon is like. Kills the guy instantly. Not so tough now, are you? Yeah. That was new to Tomb Raider 2 as well. Because in the first game, it was essentially a pistols, a uh -huh. shotgun, all mag pist magnums, which they changed to all mag pistols, which are similar to the magnums, and the Uzis. Whereas here, you have all of that, but you have the uh -huh. assault rifle, which is what I just used, harpoon, and goddamn grenade launcher. And, we just, and I missed the grenade launcher. Where was it? No, I'm saying we don't have it now, but we need you, to get it in the future. You get it at the deck. Son of a bitch. When we get to the deck, yeah. And so, yeah, as you can see there, we need three circuit breakers. We put the first one in. I got the key. Yeah, I can use that key now to open the other gate. So, let's go and do that, shall we? I took out the enemies here first to make it easier for me later when I come back. Yeah, I don't want to come back and find out you're dead because, you know, they shot you. Yeah. So, I've got plenty of med packs anyway. I actually have done Tomb Raider 1 without using any med packs. But that must have been a pain. Yeah, by the end of the game, I had like 60 for each of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used to always think, oh, could I find all the med packs? Can I find all the secrets and all the items and, like, all the uh, guns and all the ammunition? And by the end, I had like 3,000 Magnum bullets in the <laughs> first game. That's great. Yeah. In Tomb Raider 3, I didn't, in Tomb Raider Legend, I didn't like how they did this thing where you can only hold three mini pit kits. Because it was always fun in like calls games where you can. There was always fun to find mid packs and find all these different types of ammunition to collect and hold. Whereas in crystals, it doesn't really matter because you can just like use assault rifles that can only go up to like 150 bullets or so. Hmm. So it's always fun to have like an assault rifle that can hold 5,000 bullets. In that, so what do you think? I, I would say. Hmm. And now we gotta go back to the uh, other room. And yep. Jump and, up there. And we got more block pushing. Yay! I'm so happy. Ugh. How long is this level anyway? Uh, we're halfway done. Halfway done. We're halfway there. Yes, we are. I thought I fall into a pit of spikes or something. <laughs> Yeah. I actually I'm looking forward to Golden Mask, that's fun to play through. And you get to use the machine guns more. Hooray! The, the machine guns for the snowmobile. There was even this one pit where I actually died, it was embarrassing. There was a part where I actually drove the snowmobile through the glass and actually hit the the bottom and blew up. <laughs> that was a great time. That was actually quite fun in the old games when um you used the snowmobile and that. It actually blows up and makes a big explosion. <laughs> Whereas in like the later games, like Legend, it just you just fall off the bike. Whereas like it was really fun in the old games where your vehicles would blow up, like like the boat would blow up and that in Venice. Like if you ran for those mines, you'll just blow up completely. Even Lara completely blows up. Yeah, it, like her, mo her limbs come flying off. Same thing happens if you try to input a cheat code. Yeah, we can show off the cheat codes when we're done. 
Like I said, I used to cheat with the deck, so I used to always cheat with the level. But now, come on, let's play the deck legitimately. Yeah. I mean, you've seen me play the deck before, so. It was. Ugh. It took me forever to beat as a kid. I remember that level goes, no, not the deck. <laughs> Anything but that piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> Most of the levels are great, though. Then again, I think the Surston from Tomb Raider 1 is pretty tedious. <laughs> the sounds that she makes when she's pushing the fog. It sounds, sounds wrong. <laughs> I did in the first game. <laughs> this weighs a ton! Like that. That sound, it sounded like her arm was about to crack open. Yeah. Push that block, pull that block, Lara. She's, she, I'm surprised she's that strong to do that. Well, as we all know, Lara Croft is like Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> so. With guns. Yeah. That's what that's what got so many male gamers interested in that at the time. <laughs> Only uh, instead of like a lasso of truth, he's, she's more like on pistols of justice. Yeah. She has indeed. Hey, we reached the top. And I'm gonna say here actually. Oh, let me guess. There's something bullshit that happens. Yeah, I'm assuming so. That's what I liked about the old games was that sense of discovery. I'm not knowing what was ahead. Oh, you might want to heal. Yeah, good point, actually. It was... Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, if you use the large one. Yeah. So you just press F8 for that. And F9. Oh, he didn't have anything on them. Yeah, what do you think of the new weapons they introduced? I'm, I'm, again, I thought they were like really, new, really cool weapons. Yeah. Oh, look, there was a key here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Get used to Lara doing that. It'll never get old. <laughs> uh huh. Aha, uh -huh, I found a key. Imagine if she like try and do this with stuff in real life. Like, just walking about like, in a. Oh, I don't know. Walking about in a shopping store. Then she finds something that she's interested in, like a DVD. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll do that in real life. Aha. Uh -huh. Lewis, stop saying aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lewis, will you stop that already? It's getting annoying. Yeah, too right. Get annoying. It'll get annoying. And I saved the game, didn't I? You did. Good. <laughs> I completely lost my memory there for a sec. I had a short-term memory loss there. And now we got to do this again. Not much to talk about, it's just like puzzle blocks and shit. Yep. Yay! Actually, I do like how in um, Tomb Raider 4, like I said, you can push it forward the entire time. You can just keep pushing it forward. Yeah, but I like the way that um, Legacy of Kane does it. Like, Yeah, be able to move it left and right and backwards and that. Or even God of War, where you can just kick it. There you go, it's done. <laughs> Finish. Yeah. Last one. Oh yeah, I can see the tunnel back there. Yeah. Not. Oh, yeah, you got to push that forward a bit. Push that off. Jump up there and do a swan dive and kill Lara. There you go. There you go, now we're done. Huzzah! Let's go out here, Lara. And in here is more death traps here. Oh, wonderful. 
So better make sure to save again. Don't want to fuck it up. All right, we sure don't. All right, let's. Oh, yeah, jump on the it. Oh no, the entire thing is collapsing. We gotta run. Yeah, now I'm gonna save her again because there's another one up there. Oh great! So as soon as you pull up, jump back down, jump, jump back to avoid those ones. So they, they'll come back down, down and smash you as soon as you get up there. But there's a reason that we did that. For a uh, dragon. Uh -huh. There's obviously two of them. Yeah. I like that sound effect every time she picks up a dragon. <laughs> so now we just need to find the phone. I wonder what happened. So, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the item I needed. I wonder why she did that in the first place. So, mm. <laughs> I died. Okay, up here. Actually, if you drop down there, you'll just die. You'll break your legs. <laughs> yeah, so don't go down there. You've got to activate this, uh... Activate this something. Uh, there was something at the end there. Yeah, it's a secret door. we got to go elsewhere, I think, first. I think. Hold on. Oh, hold on. No. I stand corrected. <laughs> you thought it was the place to jump down to your death. I stand corrected. Right. Yeah, there's a lever there. There we go. There's the lever. And that yeah, opens we, the drop there. We totally made up bullshit on purpose to force a false sense of security for everyone. Yeah. And it wasn't just those completely forgetting which level this is. Yeah, that's it. Uh... Now, if you jump back up, you'll die instantly because the spike comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it comes from the ceiling. I remember too many three of those spike walls. Christ it's insanely a hard game. Actually, you can die in, like, in the first five seconds of learning the first level because you wouldn't have done the spikes with there. Yeah. Uh, there's a death trap down here. So I'm going to save here real quick because you can actually just jump up there. Because normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to jump back and forth numerous times because there's a spike pit down there. Oh, great. So I'm going to do a shortcut. By oh, nice. dying. <laughs> Yeah, because you can actually just run and jump to that corner and not even do it all. Yeah, that was great. Well, let me try it. Take two! There you go. See, that was what was supposed to happen. What you saw was a hallucination. Yeah. There you go. So, because normally you're supposed to wait until it goes back up again. Hold on. Can you go back up? Yeah, cool. Because you meant to jump back and forward until it closes. It's quite funny actually how I was able to come with that shortcut there. Yeah. So you don't even need to do that challenge. Just by doing that. Sense of freedom in the old games. Look how easy that was. Yeah. That's why this gun is badass. That's probably also why you don't get that much ammo for it. Yeah, because it'd be a bit too easy otherwise. Yeah, now normally you're supposed to press it and jump to that pit. Before it closes, because there's a trap door that closes for you to land on top of that. But again, shortcut time. You could just do that. Skip it all. Yeah, don't have to deal with that shit. Yeah. And here's the second one. Yeah, as soon as you hit this tile, that closes. So just run and jump like mad until you get to it. That'd be quick before it like closes back up again. Yep, so now we got how many we got so far? We got one of them, we got one more to yes. go. Yeah, so that's two done, one to go. And then after that we beat the level. And then there's a living quarters, which is pretty good. And then it's the deck. <laughs> then we have to deal with the fucking deck. Yep. Essentially. Now we just need to drain the water. I don't know how to do that. Lewis, how do you drain the water? I don't remember. You don't know, remember to drain the water, what are you talking about? You've forgotten, haven't you? I think so, yeah. I think I might be able to figure it out if I go back in the other room. Like, if I go back in the other room, I might be able to figure it out. I. 
Come on, Lara. Let's do this. Tank deathmatch. Oh, that was the switch. No, that's for the trap door. Oh. Which I can bypass simply by not doing it. Or I could do this. So there's obviously something we missed back here. Yeah, it probably is. There was like a switch probably down here somewhere. I'll have a look more around. Yeah, oh, there you go. Switch. Switch! How, how the hell did we miss that? I know, I'm an idiot. What was that do? Yep, there we go. That's what we're supposed to do. I love See, how the camera just smash cuts to the war all gone. Yeah. Exactly. I like how too many two's puzzles aren't, you know, it's more clear. But it's not super simplistic. Oh yeah, uh, we need we... to hit the switch again, don't we? The other switch. There we go. No. It's all right, just need some. It's all right, folks. I've just needed some stretches. That's why you probably hear me a little further away. Yeah. Well, what we'll do is we'll finish this level off and then call it quits for the day. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it quits because we've done like was it half half of the level so far? Yeah, we've done like nearly eight levels now. And how many levels are there in total? Eighteen, but we're getting there. Oh, so only ten left. We are already doing a good job so far. Yep. <sighs> And yeah, you will take damage if you fall down there. Uh, that's why I recommend using a med pack. I love how she manages to take a med pack while she's falling. Yeah. <laughs> Stitch her while she's falling. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine she was doing that? Christ. Run and jump. To the top. Get to the top. Get to the top. Boom, da da, boom, da da, boom, da da, boom, da da, boom, da da. Just check down here first. So badass. What did that do? Trap door on the other end. So you can hit the switch and come back this way and then go around the corner and pick up the last circuit breaker. And then we're done with this level. Before we take out another bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, another guy shows up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and another guy. Where, the guys, where do these guys even come from? I don't know. Where do they even come from? They're probably using teleporter technology, provided by Bartoli. Yeah, probably. He's cloning them, perhaps. So if I press this button... That just closes it. Yeah, that helps. No, it's that switch over there. I hit, hit, I hit the wrong switch. Whoops. Yeah, let's... There we go. Now, we go back up to here. <laughs> and face through that. <laughs> <laughs> It seems Clara's learned a few things from her enemies. Yeah. She's probably wearing an invisibility cloak. An invisibility cloak does not allow you to face through map her. Be awesome if it could, though. Be awesome if it could. Wait, what's this switch? Remember which switch you're pressing. Or, or just jump up in front of it. Yay, it's a switch! Switch! Only for the Nintendo Switch! Oh man, I really need to get a fucking Nintendo Switch. There are so many good games on it! Yeah, I want to get one because, well, I just want to get one. Like, I've seen the I've seen the library list for it. Like, there's it's so massive. many good ones, like, it's like Breath of the Wild. Super Smash Bros. Yep. There is loads that I can think of. Being able to play Sonic Mania on the go, I can't say no to that. Oh yeah, no, that would be awesome. I think also um, uh, the Dark Forces games have been announced on uh, the Switch as well. Yeah, got the other two, right? I, I think it was Jedi Outcast. Yeah, now the, uh, Jedi Outcast on the Switch, oh, that is fucking badass. Yeah. See, even when you kill these guys, the items never disappear. The items always stay there. Thank God. Which is good. Now, place the last two in. Actually, the funny thing is, I know this shortcut where you don't have to push, the, pull the block all the way down there. You could just 
move it a couple of inches and then just make the jump still. <laughs> but be sure you have like loads of health. And make sure you take out all the flames here. You need to still go get all the circuit breakers though. Yeah, trying to do this while the fire is there is impossible. Yeah. Just burn to death too quickly. One more time. One more time. I love how the box is facing through the switch. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Okay, gotta go this way up. Yeah, because you can actually jump to that. Oh, oh. <laughs> supposed to jump there. Yeah, supposed to, yeah. Couldn't you just move the box forward again? No, maybe not. Yeah, good point. I know you can actually like jump from a further distance to get up there without having to push it all the way. But hey, I suppose we'll just go with a reliable method. You just, you, you just got to stand at a little slight off angle just to be able to do it. But you know, you, we don't want to be stuck here for five minutes just trying to do the corner jump. Yeah, that's right. Oh god, there was a guy waiting. He was absolutely silent on it. Didn't have anything on him, though. No. Nope. Some enemies do, some enemies don't. Right. That did something. Yeah. <laughs> so remember the obstacle course? This is where your skills get put to the test. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna get to the end. Oh, you'll make it. See what I tell you? Yeah, and the gold one's down there, so. So don't worry, we didn't miss it. And don't worry, Lewis did not try to get her killed on purpose. No, there was harpoon stuff here. There is no golden dragon in this level. Yes, you lied to me. You lied. <laughs> Liar! Liar! <laughs> For that clipping. Oh shit. Health! <sighs> Manages to stick yourself up in the middle of a fight. Hey, can you give me five seconds? I just need to put on this stitch on my left arm. Yes. Can you imagine that in real time? Actually, I might as well get my Uzis out. Yeah, run low on the rifle anyway. Yeah, I've got 1,100 bullets for that, so. Press the switch down. Opens up the door. So I guess you proceed through there and then it like ends the level. Mm, you just gotta do this little area and then we're done. Oh, probably go through the water. Then we swim back up. Yeah, do this little area and then we're done. Uh -huh. At least we get more flares. Yeah, true. That's great. Push this one. And then there's a switch there. <laughs> just hidden behind it magically. Yeah. All this. Hey, that opens it up so we can jump out. And then this is where we're going to find the gold one. Car, please. Do it for me, my love. <laughs> Do as I command. Or else I'll dump you. Even though I was never going out with you in the first place. Shark in here as well. Save again. Yeah, make sure the save. Right. Because I used to do this when playing the level editors for the first time. What, just do the underwater levels? Well, no, just save before I tackled a difficult part or uh, I think something was going to be hard. I wonder if, it, if anyone's like made a level editor where, well, made a level with the editor where there was no air pockets. So you had to do it with the entire level with just like one little bar. Hmm. 
Might have been. No, I messed that one up. Put it back up again. Thank God for that. Thank God I saved. Okay, so the gold statue was not over there. No, there was a pit you got to go. I'm trying to remember where this pit is. I know it's around here somewhere. Is it down here? It's probably up there. Yeah, there we go. Found it. There we go. Gold dragon. And our reward? Uh -huh. Grenade launcher. Hey, the grenade launcher's back. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the firepower. We have all our guns now. Yeah, we're all good to go. Right, let's get out of this level and go find Bartoli. And put a grenade up his ass. Yeah, you actually fight him when he's a dragon at the end, so... <laughs> well, like, way to give spoilers for everyone watching. Yeah, well, no one's watching. I'm in on YouTube. Mm, okay. Good point. Yeah, around here's a key. Grab the key, grab the key, grab the key, grab the key. I can't unlock the door unless I have the key. Grab the keyblade. <laughs> Grab a fucking keyblade, yeah, right. Yeah. A really stupid weapon. <laughs> but it's a cool weapon! It, it's stupid though, the concept of it though. I mean, keyblade is pretty stupid if you think about it. Just watch as many people like fucking react like, How dare you call shit on the blade? I'll fucking fight you! Bring it. I love the game, but it's still a blade. Key. Look, keys can keys can cut you. Actually, they can, in a way. Plus, it is a blade, so it's not like a normal key. So, I remember my friend Solomon used to always mock the key blade, and I said, "Yeah, low looks can be deceiving, can't they?" But I will admit, it is a bit of a silly weapon. But we can all agree the gun blade is fucking stupid. Yeah, it is. It is. But then again, what do you expect from Japan? I love Japan. Japan. <laughs> from Japan. Uh huh. Yeah, I remember when Kay did that song. Oh, Japan, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> or cue a clip of me like putting paramedic in saying, I love Japan. I yeah. love Japan. Japan's insane. That's why I like it. The fear! I love Japan. I fucking love that parody. Like, some guy on YouTube, I think it was, his name was George Sakalo. Like, he, he made a bunch of NGS uh, parody videos where he, like, takes various clips from the series and, like, puts it into a funny sort of sense. So, when you hear, um, like, the Fury or the Fear or whatever, when they die, they go, the Fear, 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 and then you just hear Paramag in the back. I love Japan because of the crazy bad shit things that happen. Yeah, that's it. I would seriously recommend go uh, watching that. I'll see if I can link that in the description. Yeah. Now we're off to finish the level now. Don't mess it up, that is. Yeah, don't die on this. I won't. And there's gonna be these enemies to deal with as well. Oh god, more giant eels! Yeah. Shit, these things look like something they're out of Star Wars. There's always a bigger fish! And here's the end of the level, now we're done. Just through there. 